After selling cars in California, Alan Tamez moved back to the Valley to take advantage of the Valley's growing car sales business, joining Buick GMC for Ogden in Edinburgh. With little public transportation across the Valley, Tamez says it's a strong market. An automobile in the Valley is a necessity. It's not even a luxury anymore. If you want to work, if you want to go to school, if you want to take your kids to school, you need a car. Selling 300 vehicles last month, Fiesta Chevrolet is one of the top 15 highest selling dealerships in the country. Tomas says the recession has actually improved the car selection in the valley. The good thing about the recession is that it gave opportunity for dealers that um, had the opportunities to buy brands and bring them down to the valley. And now you see a lot of new car dealerships opening up. Steve Yancey, COO of Payne Auto Group in Westlaco, says clients from across the border also helps. We're seeing an influx of business from Mexico into the valley. With so much growth, Payne Auto Group is expanding, building an auto mall by adding a new Buick GMC and Chevy dealership due to open in June. Ed Payne Westlaco Ford will also be relocated next door. Which in our mind will be the first auto mall that you'll find in the Rio Grande Valley. But the way car dealers do business is changing. Car shoppers are doing more research online before they come to the dealership, having a better idea of what type of vehicle it is they want to buy. And as the price of the pump changes, so do drivers' shopping habits. One of the most common things people say when they try to trade in, when you ask them, you know, why are you trading out? They say, oh, because gas just went up. While new technologies like hybrids are increasing in sales in some markets, in the Valley, traditional vehicles continue to outsell. I think they're interested in the new technologies, but quite frankly, I think they are right now sticking more with the typical gasoline engines and diesel engines. In Hidalgo County, I'm Brett Crandall for Action 4 News.